haven't played Kerbal Space Program in a pretty long time. And when I used to play Kerbal Space Program, I'd say I was pretty good at it. But today, we're not going to play the game how it's intended. No, no, no. I'm going to install BD Armory Mod, and we're going to put a tank turret on a plane and make it perform as well as a normal fighter jet. For this, we'll be using the M1 Abrams Cannon, which comes in at 2.372 tons. In terms of orientation, we can either orient it facing upright or upside down. I kind of want to do it upright because most tanks are facing upright, even though it would make sense if the barrel faced downwards. First, I chose the MK2 cockpit because I'm a really big fan of its form factor. Next, I placed the structural panel so I could attach the tank turret on it. Then I found the biggest wings I could find and continued to build out the rest of the plane. I added engine coolers on the wings, which do nothing other than act as an air intake, and I went with the dual engine design because I always think that looks pretty cool. I finished up the rest of the plane and did its first test flight, which did not go as I planned. Alright, this time I used a different wing design, swept it back, adjusted the landing gears along with some other adjustments, and tried it again. And this time it seemed like it was about to work, so I tried turning, which is when everything went downhill. And back to the drawing board. To fix the turning issue, all I had to do is move the center of lift behind the center of mass, and it seemed to work just fine. Now we need the tank to actually shoot things. With this, I'm going to use the FLIR targeting ball as well as some sort of inline radar. You can link the turret to the targeting ball and the targeting ball to the radar, and it works for a really, really good targeting mechanism. Now let's put it to the test. I built these two targets for the tank plane to fire at, and it works beautifully. The radar sends its data to the targeting ball, and the targeting ball sends the position of the target to the tank turret, and it's able to accurately shoot the target. But how well does it do against surface to air missiles? Well, it uh doesn't. It absolutely gets obliterated and as a response to that I'm going to make the most insane flying fortress you guys have ever seen in my next video and that's all for now that's all for this video Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video peace